I am Brianne. I head up the customer success team at Spreedly. Uh, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of how we view customer product requests, uh, which for many of you, I assume it will be useful, uh, especially if you suffer from um, unruly backlog syndrome. So Spreedly is in a unique position. We are not a gateway. We're not a bank. We're a hub. We are a connector that breaks payment silos for customers and endpoints all around the world. And the success team is a hub within a hub. So we receive up to 300 inbound customer conversations per month. <laughs> Now, <laughs> okay, so uh, many of those are just support questions. So how does Spreedly work? Um, clarify the documentation for me or help me troubleshoot a transaction. But up to 60 of them per month can be uh, product improvement or other feature requests. That's what it feels like. Uh, and many of those requests are actually more suited for gateways or banks or, or other. Um, and some of our customers who aren't as familiar with payments can even assume that Spreedly is just another kind of gateway, when in reality we're uniquely in the middle, right? So our product should be unique too. Whoops, dang it. So <laughs> how many of you actually handle or see inbound customer conversations, like on a daily basis? Eh, okay. Um, so basically, uh, you may or may not know the conflicting emotions of like, Working with hundreds of customers all the time, you want to solve their problems, but realistically, you are unable to do so, right? So even though we want to solve everyone's problems, the thing that we don't want to wind up doing is solving one and then breaking five others, right? So solving something for a customer and breaking five other customers. Or you have spreedly somehow magically turning into a gateway um, unintentionally. Right? That's a trap that we really don't want to get caught in. So the best way that we found to handle these requests have been to operationalize them. So we are constantly refining what it means to be a part of our core product. We are always tracking and reviewing customer requests and ideas. And then finally, we try to say no sooner rather than later. So saying no sooner rather than later lets us point to the right partner to work with. Um, we don't want to be all things to all people. We want to be the right thing for the right people. And the last thing that we want to do is build the 15-blade Swiss Army Razor. That's just, that's not what we're in for. So despite this, we still manage to build pretty cool products directly based on customer feedback. Like Jacques was saying, he's not here anymore. He's in his customer interview. Go Jacques. Um, we distill customer requests down to, um, to like their base element, what the underlying need is. And when we do that, we get awesome products like Account Updater or AU. Um, it was built specifically so that our customers could uh, keep their customers' cards up to date and reduce declines. And the launch of AU led to some pretty cool follow-up conversations, and soon you'll be hearing about card-level AU, um, which was a result of the last round of feedback that we did. So I think it's important to note that we're going to say no sometimes. Eh, more than sometimes, right? Definitely. But that's our job. It's our job to see the forest for the trees in the unique space that we're in and keep building products that Spreedly customers need, even if they don't know they need them. We are absolutely not going to build every request into our product, but we totally appreciate and value the feedback that we receive. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this high-level overview of how Spreedly views customer product requests, especially if you have that unruly backlog syndrome. And to the customers in the audience, thank you so much for continuing to have the conversations with us that help make Spreedly a better product for you. Thank you. <laughs>